Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome. So today I'm gonna to show you guys what I eat in a day. I don't count macros and this is just what I eat to maintain my body. I'm also going to include supplements that I take. Okay, so ignore my hair. I just woke up and I haven't fixed it, but to get started on the first meal. So you guys should know that I base my meals off of what I'm working out on that day, like what my activity is going to be and when I'm gonna be working out. So right now it is 9.30. So I'm gonna go to the gym right after I finish eating. I, long time ago, used to wake up at this time and just go fasted and do a full body, I mean like a full, leg day a full upper body day and honestly i noticed that like you're just for me it's a waste of time and i feel like you're not giving your muscles the ability to actually fully get everything out of that workout because they're not fueled so unless i'm doing straight cardio or abs i don't go to the gym strictly fasted anymore so today i'm doing a full body functional workout so i'm gonna have just a little bit of oats um again i don't measure anything anymore um so i'm just gonna have a little bit of oats oats are super difficult for me to eat because i'm a texture freak so i have them grinded up and i'm gonna put that into the blender with some strawberries and half a banana and i'm also going to add my greens in there i'm not sure why i said i was gonna add my greens to my oats I'm gonna drink my greens on the side with my oats so essentially it's like you're having almost like a a smoothie just because i'm a texture freak and there's like having like a oatmeal bowl takes me at least like an hour hour and a half to eat and like i don't have that time but that much but i grinded it up so okay your banana i'm also gonna add some almond milk unsweetened almond milk Gonna add some strawberries so we're gonna make it a little fun today because i'm craving some sweets i'm gonna add some chocolate chips in there just a little bit and now we blend i know it looks like a lot but it's only 200 ml and again just imagine i mean this is only for texture freaks like me um so it's literally like just having your oatmeal but in a blender I am so glad I didn't change the Maria clothes because. All right, so moving on to the greens. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my greens and these are the greens I take. These are from First Form. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description for you guys. And I drink these religiously once in the morning and then if i'm feeling very bloated then i'll take them twice a day like when i'm on my period i definitely take them twice a day because it really helps reduce bloating i love these because they are filled with superfoods and a lot of digestive enzymes if you guys have time go ahead and search this one up and look at the nutrition facts on this so you can see everything that it has in there i also want to be very clear that you do not need to add greens just to water you can add your greens to a protein smoothie, to a juice, to sometimes I have it with almond milk. That is totally up to you. Right now, today, I'm having it with water, eight ounces of water. But again, completely up to you. Okay, so I'm heading to the gym. And for today's pre-workout, I'm be drinking First Forms Energy Drink. And to be honest, I've been drinking it for quite some time now, literally since it first came out. And it's number one for me. I actually have stopped drinking pre-workout for the last two weeks and just drink this instead. I mean, it serves as a pre-workout, but look into it, love it. My favorite flavor is cherry lime. And then I'll put this into a cup and I'll add my creatine and creatine is good for building muscle. All right, so I'm back from the gym. I'm gonna make some breakfast and I'm planning to have two whole eggs. I usually have this ham. Um, today I'm gonna have two slices of the ham and I'm also going to make myself a slice of toast with some cream cheese. All right, 
right, so I like to do this really weird thing for the cream cheese for my toast. So first of all, here's the cream cheese and I go ahead and I put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds. And then I go ahead and add some chili lime um, seasoning from Trader Joe's, some onion powder, and then I also add some parsley. I don't know, it just gives my toast a different kind of taste and I really like it. Try it and let me know. Breakfast is done. So, and let's be honest, nobody actually uses real plates unless they're like recording for Instagram. And to be honest today, I'm not on that vibe. So we're using our uh, disposable plates. Cute. So we have our cream cheese with our toast, the ham and our eggs. And honestly, I have this breakfast pretty much every single morning. Reason being is because the ham is a great source of protein. Your eggs are a good source of protein and good fats. And then you have your carbs with your bread. So delicious. Also, you need to try this cream cheese thing I'm talking about. So good. I can't stop. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go to the doctors and it's pretty, a pretty far drive right now because there's traffic gonna be about an hour so I'm gonna make myself a protein shake to have over there and then I'll go ahead and bring a protein bar to have on my way back so for the protein smoothie today I am using first form level one protein in the red velvet cake flavor so I'm gonna use one scoop of that having myself some almond milk so add to your liking honestly this protein in particular you can have with just milk or water and it tastes just as good you don't have to add anything to it at least for taste but i add other things just to make sure i get all my nutrients and stuff for the day fruits this is just like a tropical blend like one of the basic um fruit blends add a teaspoon of peanut butter because i don't like peanut butter that much but i'm gonna add a teaspoon All right, so a teaspoon of peanut butter. I like to blend it first and then I'll add my ice because then it's way too, way too thick. All right, so we're gonna pour her into our cup. Always taste test before. I actually didn't add any ice because the consistency was just fine for me. I don't like it too thick. I don't like it too mm, thin. You, you know what I mean. Really good support and look at her and that's it something that i just noticed i have not mentioned throughout the whole video and it's so important to stress is your water consumption i take my water bottle with me everywhere and you should definitely be consuming at least two to three liters a day of water you need it your body needs it you need to stay hydrated all right, so I'm out of the doctor's and I'm gonna go ahead and have my protein bar. This is the protein bar that I'm having today and it's from First Form in the flavor Chocolate Crunch. I love these protein bars. Actually, these are the only protein bars that I can have because I despise protein bars that taste dry, like powder and just disgusting. I only have these bars and I have them in almost every one of the flavors. So I'm going to link these also in the description down below for you guys. And I'm going to show you what the protein bar looks like. The best part is that it doesn't taste like a protein bar. It's amazing. This one is so good. And like, it's a perfect amount of chocolate crunch and like almost like mousse. I don't even know. Okay, so do bear with me because like I said, you guys are in my car on my phone. Um but i'll just ooh, i got it all over my fingers but can we please take a moment like and all right guys so i am home and i'm getting ready to cook dinner but fun fact about me is that i don't cook dinner without having a snack as i'm cooking dinner so today's choice of snack is i got some crackers some cheese and some salami and I'm gonna have that as I'm making my dinner because that's just how I'm set up. I'm making chicharro, and honestly, I don't know the translation for that in English. I think it's yellow split peas. 
that's her main, and some chicken and white rice. So if you want the recipe for that, I'm going to post the full recipe on my Instagram, which I will link in the description down below as well. But I'll show you guys how delicious it's going to look. All right, guys. So I'm super ready because I'm all done cooking. And I almost forgot to show you guys. So here are the chicharros. And this is a great source of protein and carbs because I added some rice in there. And then we just have a side of chicken over here. All right, guys, so that's it for the day. I am not a dessert gal. Sorry, not sorry. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for your support always. And don't forget to check the description down below for all the links that I promised on this video.